Hey guys, CryptoSender here. Today we are going to talk about Ripple and what just happened overnight. Well, the current state of Ripple, at least for the last few months, was that it was always at the same price at around 20 to 25 cents. But in the last week, it got up to, I think, like 30 cents, and that's because cryptocurrencies overall in the last week just all had a huge bull run because they gained popularity. But especially this night, Ripple just doubled their market cap. And they actually overtook uh, Litecoin and IOTA, which also had a huge bull run just a few days ago. Well, that's because leading Japan and South Korean banks are now using the Ripple blockchain network because they are thinking that they, it will reduce their costs by up to 30% and also allows same-day funds transfers. So these Japan and South Korean banks are actually actually enter, entering trials on Friday and testing their Ripple blockchain. Well, the difference between Ripple and the other currencies is that Ripple is the fastest, has, less, has the least transaction cost, and is uh, most scalable, as you can see in this graph right here. So the banks are counting on the Ripple speed and the scalability of Ripple, and also their transaction costs, because with the transaction costs, they can lower the costs, and it's also quite fast. So actually, Ripple has more than 75 banks that are partnered with Ripple right now, but only the leading Asian banks are actually testing the Ripple blockchain on Friday. So what I believe is that until Friday, Ripple will probably probably go up even more, like up to 60 or 70 cents. Well, that's at least my guess. It already was at around 52 cents and I think like 60 cents on the Korean exchanges. That's where the banks are also using it. And I think that Ripple really has a bright future in terms of uh, bank usage because banks cannot really use Bitcoin or Ethereum or Bitcoin Cash because it's just too slow and it's not scalable. Like Bitcoin can do 16 transactions per second and that for banks that's literally nothing. And it also costs a vast amount. So lowering the costs for banks is a huge factor and if the trials work out nice on Friday, I think Ripple will probably uh, take the third spot just beyond uh, behind Ethereum. Well, I hope you now understand what just happened to Ripple and why it's on this huge bull run until at least Friday, I think. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Any comment is appreciated. Thank you.